Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be taking you on a tour of my animation work area. You're going to see things like my part of my Lego collection. You're going to see what it looks like when I'm actually animating. And you'll probably see some odds and ends and random things from my life along the way. Hope you guys enjoy, and here we go. Okay, to begin with, this is what it looks like when I'm animating. Well, pretty much. I got my tripod set up here, I got my laptop on my little nightstand, I've got my desk where I have the uh, set underneath all my lamps, and then I have the chair that I sit in. Alright, so that's a pretty basic setup. As you can see, I have my uh, the spot where I sit is fairly far away from the actual set. So every time I uh, take a photo, I go over to my set. I move my figure just a little bit, come back out, sit down in my chair, sit down, grab my mouse, and click capture. And it captures a new frame straight from my camera, which I'm holding, but it'll be sitting right there on my tripod. And I just go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And yes, this can cause back trouble. So you probably noticed these uh, towers right here. These are my organization towers, or one of them. <coughs> and then my keeper variety of assorted Lego pieces. All right, let me get this back in focus. All right, so generally up here on the top, I have my flat bricks. So I've got flat green bricks right here. Lots of those because of the thanks to the Lego soccer sets I got when I was younger. Uh, more flat bricks, uh, brown, tan flat, red, ooh white, uh, black. I have two piece tiles all right here. I really need to and keep in mind I'm still in the process of sorting out. So a lot of this is still rough, and I've got to further sort this out once I purchase more uh, sorting towers, but you can get a rough idea. Uh, my meager one stud tile collection. I wish I had more. Um, <clears throat> oh, those are earbuds and cables. Uh, props and some stuff in here, like chests and barrels and a bed. I'm not sure why I keep that in there. Uh, you might recognize this from some of my earlier videos, like uh, the Magic Seeds and Smooth as Plastic. Yep. For those that uh, have been with me that long, uh, flora and fauna, trees, and this is not all my trees because I have a lot of them on a set currently. <coughs> um, I'll move my lamp out of the way. Over on this side, we've got arm and joint pieces, not like minifigure ones, but I don't know what you call these, but lots of those, lots and lots. Uh, stuff with holes in them. Like I said, I don't, I don't know the actual name for this stuff, I'm just, oops, so oh, look at that. Sorting as I see fit. I never use these kind of pieces hardly, so they probably won't be in there very long. Uh, oh look purple. Um, not much exciting in this tower. <clears throat> I'll clean that up later. No, I'll clean it up right now. Procrastination is not a good thing. Right now. Okay. Uh, let's, let me bring one of these lamps up here because it's kind of dark up here. Uh, here is another of my towers. And this one is more well sorted out than uh, my other ones are. But I have, generally have many figures up here on top. And this is odd heads and female heads. I usually keep them in stacks. Got a text message. Um, I usually keep them in stacks <clears throat> uh, just because it's easier to find the head I need. Uh, ooh, regular minifigure heads. Yes. I've got quite a few of those, don't I? Yes, I do. Um, yeah, I just sort of try stacking them in some 
manner that makes sense to me like everything like facial hair piece heads I stick together um basic heads I stick together and I just find stacking them it, it just allows me to find one need a lot faster and I try to keep the face on all one side so I can rotate it like that torsos that I don't use as often <laughs> torsos that I really never use which is <clears throat> all the soccer ones I still have a lot more soccer ones but those are just some of them um uh, we have some police and news related stuff. We have Star Wars torsos. And most of my Star Wars torsos are still with the sets that I keep in a box. And on the other side of the room, which you may or may not be seeing later. Let's see. Um, these are the torsos I use the most often. They're just sort of your everyday sort of looks and stuff. That's what that is. Um, ooh, look, chairs. Oh. Um, I can't think of a good pun. Um, oh, an empty drawer. Well, it has these in it, but as I said, oh, it's, the organization is a work in progress. Um, I've got hooks, these type of hooks right here. And then, oh, they got mixed up. But I have hooks in this drawer. I have these switches right here. Um, little, I don't know what you call these. I'll call them heart pieces because you, know, you can make parts out of them. Sell to reference. See, look at that. Oh, look. <clears throat> um, you know, I'm not going to go through and show you guys each and every individual one of these because that'd probably be very boring. But um, basically, you got legs, legs, round pieces. Studs I need to sort. Uh, tiles and more studs. More studs. And more studs. Oh, this is really great. Overexposed. I know, I'm sorry, people. Um, more studs. Studs, studs, and more studs. Sort of. Um, oh, look, here's my little Lego Molstein notebook that my brother got me. Shout out. Uh, the Lego iPhone. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, let's move on, shall we? Um, I'm not going to delve into my actual software or anything right now. I'm just going to show you real fast my computer, because some of you may wonder. It's, uh, it's an HP. I know, it's an HP. It's not a Mac, don't worry. Um, it's got a Core i7 processor, which is very nice for video editing. It's got like 8 gigs of RAM, uh, Windows 7, which is now obsolete, I know. Um, I won't bother to bore you with the tech specs any longer. So let's see here. On my icon bar down here, what are the programs I use the most? Let's see, I've got Google Chrome, yes, it's the best. Uh, Spotify, iTunes, uh, What's that? Oh, that's Excel, PowerPoint, Word, uh, this right, he right here. That's what I use for frame capture, which is EOS Utility. Um, Lightroom is next to it. Um, sorry, my camera shake. It's because I'm holding this with one hand and using the mouse with the other. Um, Lightroom is great for photography, which I do quite a bit. Photoshop, After Effects. Adobe Audition, Segway, uh, Bridge, Illustrator, Premiere, Flash Pro, Evernote, and Celtics. And, oh look, there's my new logo. Isn't it so nice? <clears throat> Anyways, uh, that's about that. Um, this is my night, I, I keep my laptop on my nightstand when I'm animating. And, we're currently reading, currently reading. Mortal by Ted Decker and Tosca Lee. I'm actually not reading this by myself. My girlfriend and I are reading it together. Um, slow going process, but it's a pretty good book. I read the first one, and it's very good. Um, also, more currently reading than that is kind of hard to see, but 
The Paradise Trilogy, but also by Ted Decker. Yes, I like Ted Decker. Um, I'm almost done with this one, as you can see by the bookmark right there. Yep, it's a really good book. Definitely recommend it. It's a little strange, but I like strange. Uh, put that back away. Uh, let's see here. Well, let me show you guys something really cool. Okay, so here is the Dino Cop Lego Studios uh, poster. It's I got an interesting story to tell about this one. So, uh, you know, my brother and I are uh, huge Lego fans for a long time since we were really small. And we got this in the Lego catalog or magazine or something years ago, years ago. And uh, for some reason, my brother wanted to keep it on the wall of our room. And there for a while, I just I was I didn't want him to do it because you know I was out of my Lego face then, and he was too. So that's why I was wondering why he kept it on there. But uh, ironically, you know. <laughs> Just at the beginning of the, the, like a year and a half ago, I started liking brick filming, so it's kind of ironic that this poster has been hanging here all this time, and now I actually, now it actually is <laughs> pertaining to what I do. So, I thought that was a pretty cool story. Um, yep, Dino Cop. Uh, down here, uh, we have boxes. This is my box full of plates which I just sort through whenever I need it, I need a plate. Uh, these two bottom boxes, which are kind of hard to see, are full of built sets. Well, sort of. I mean, they're kind of crumpled up, but all in all, they're built. Sort of. Did I say sort of? Yep, yeah, I said sort of. Um, yep. Over here, we've got more organization towers. This is where I keep most of my regular, regular bricks. We have top drawer, gray bricks. Um, which are pretty much all used up for a set that is sitting over here. Um, we have red bricks. Whoa, yeah, it's really red. Um, yep, red bricks in the red drawer notice. Um, yellow bricks in the red drawer, I know. Um, white, green stuff that needs sorting. Uh, Black, 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 black. Blue. I got a lot of blue. That's a good thing. Uh, uh, this is like Bionicle and Technic stuff that needs to get out of here because I never use it pretty much. Um, vehicle stuff. This is a huge drawer full and it's pretty much over full and it's kind of hard to close sometimes. But. Yep, yeah, that's all my vehicle stuff, or most of it. You're gonna notice I actually have horse stuff in here too, because I consider a horse a vehicle. Uh, yep, okay. The only downfall of this tower is it's sometimes hard to slide them back in, but I like it. It was worth the money. Um, architecture pieces, like doors, windows, pillars, uh, whatever that is. Uh, Top to Yoda's hut. Um, yep. That's that's that one here. This this drawer right here. Sorry if the camera shakes because I'm using one hand. Uh, this drawer I keep plates in, except the big gray base plates because they don't fit in it. But there's also lots of soccer stuff. And the soccer one's actually really good use for the uh, base of if you're gonna make a hill like in my Easter video. The uh, the actual internal structure for the set was actually a whole bunch of these, but I have tons of them. So that's a good tip. Uh, oh, and then I have this stuff, which I did in a blog post, is somewhat good for keeping set shake down while animating. Uh, in here is pretty much empty, but I keep built sets in there for animation sometimes to keep out the dust. Let's see here, here are some. There's, there's in the middle is the graveyard for the costume contest. It's in the middle of being deconstructed. And then right over here is the set for the uh, costume contest in the living room, sort of. And then here's the outside of the house, which is in disrepair right now. I need to fix it, but 
I'm lazy and haven't done that yet. But there's that. Um, thank you to Scott for the uh, loaning me two large gray base plates. I only have the one in the middle. and Or the one right there. That one's mine. Or is it that one? No, oh, it's that one. I know it is. But uh, thanks for him for loaning me his Legos. And all of his Legos are in that box right there. I haven't used them very much, except for the gray base plates, which are really great to have. I want to buy some more, but I can't afford it right now. Uh, there's that, and here's a broken monitor, our old TV, that doesn't work. I wish it did, because I want a second monitor, but it doesn't work. It does sound funky when you try turning it on. Alas. Over here, we've got three more boxes. We've got this one right here, which I'm actually going to take over here so you can see better. This used to be where I kept my coin collection, but I'm not interested in coin collecting anymore. I collect Legos, so I use it for Lego. The top half still has all my coins and stuff in it, which is pretty sweet. Um, so there's that. But in the bottom section, it's just a, like a tackle box, which is very handy. They're still being Lego overexposed again. And forgive me. Um, I'm not going to open all these because it'll make, it's kind of hard to do, but basically I keep a little other stuff in here, like soccer balls, life jackets, backpacks, animals, coins, beards, and yeah, cups and plates and stuff, and these other ones, this is my weaponry, weapons container, it has all my weapons in it, like lightsabers, and it also has tools in it, but that got headgear, which includes hats, hair, helmets, etc. Uh, bottom one, it's always the hardest to get out, so I won't pull it all the way out. Uh, pretty much empty, except for some random stuff I gotta sort still. So let's just put all that back. So here's the other two boxes I mentioned. Oops, so I have. Uh, Red slopes and all that stuff. Red, dark gray, blue, they're all sorted out pretty much. That's just that one side. Alright, so here's the other side. Open it up. More slopes. So exciting. And the ones in the middle are, I don't, they're just random colors. I don't have enough of to actually warrant sorting them. Because who uses yellow and orange slopes? I don't. If you do, I'm sorry. Uh, there's this, we have some gray stuff I need sorting, lots of clear stuff, lots and lots of clear stuff that also needs to be sorted out properly. Um, Alright, so now you've seen those, oh, wait, oh, I almost skipped, skipped the other side. Uh, other side has some stuff I got from my pick. Pick a brick when I went to the Char the Charlotte Lego store at Concord Mills Mall. We have lots of doors that I got, and I was really excited when I got these, except I didn't realize that they uh, weren't to scale with the minifigures, so that sort of bummed me out. But hey, they're good for models, and I got a lot of them. Oh, look, my little things that I made for. Uh, For fun, I made them for fun. Yeah, that's right. I didn't, I didn't make them for anything. I just made them. And they're interesting. I really like this guy. Yep. Uh, my calendar on my wall is not in use anymore. As you can see, this is December. Uh, take note, that's a uh, December of last year. Yeah, so it's almost been a year since I updated my calendar. That's that's sad. But no, I, I keep my calendar on my phone now. So, it's all good. Alright, and this has been the uh, behind the scenes work area video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, be on the lookout for new videos coming very soon. Thanks again for our subscribing, watching, and commenting, and doing all the stuff that you guys do. And I'm really excited to see what's coming soon. So, there we go. See you later. Alright, you can subscribe to me right here. You can 
uh, you can, what can you do right here? You can, uh, you can, you can watch my latest video. You can watch the behind the scenes of, where am I in? You can watch the behind the scenes of this video right here. Wait, this is a behind, this is a behind the scenes video. There's a behind the scenes of the, no, bloopers right here. You know what? I'm going to forget about this.